Now, more stories, insights, and analysis of Illinois policy and politics. This is Illinois Rising, presented by the Illinois Policy Institute. Once again, your host, AM560's Dan Proft. Dan Proft back with Pat Hughes on this edition of Illinois Rising, and it's uh, graduation time, including at uh, Illinois universities and colleges. And Northeastern Illinois University made some news this week when it uh, came to light that uh, Valerie Jarrett, the former advisor, well, I guess she's still a current advisor to former President uh, Barack Obama, creature of the Chicago machine, was uh, going to deliver the commencement at NEIU because, according to an NAU spokesman, she's such a great role model for our students. She really is. Uh, $30,000 was the commencement fee. Uh, commencement speech honorarium or fee. They could have got you for way less than that. They could have. Um, and I would uh, probably for the honorary degree. <laughs> totally. Uh, and uh, but so this created a bit of a, of a firestorm of controversy because NEIU is engaged in furlough days and they're part of the university set that is complaining about uh, the need to r- cut academic offerings because of the state's budget impasse and because of the lack of state support for the university and so forth. And yet they found $30,000 they were going to allocate to Valerie Jarrett. Those th- two things seem a bit incon- incongruous or certainly bad PR. So actually some member or members of the Northeastern Illinois University Board of Regents said uh, this not make sense and so they went and found a donor that was the initial reaction found a donor to cover the commencement address fee and then there was still the question well if that donor is going to kick in 30 grand to NAU why don't you fund a scholarship or something more productive than Valerie Jarrett's than funding Valerie Jarrett's uh, you know shopping spree on Michigan Avenue and now of course Valerie Jarrett is going to waive the fee because she's so honorable because she is so honorable and uh, in response to this, uh, well, actually, even before this, uh, Reggie Phillips, who's uh, a Republican legislator from uh, downstate Charleston, he's got EIU, Eastern Illinois, in his district. He actually introduced legislation to eliminate commencement speech fees at state universities and colleges because why well, are you spending thirty to fifty grand on some commencement speaker and crying poor to us at the same pl- at the same time? Well, Reggie Phillips has an excellent point. Um, you know, the, the the left is incredible, and I know the right does this too, but the left is incredible, right? They're the ones that are talking about we're not funding our universities and we don't have a balanced budget and nothing's getting funded and we blame the bad Republican governor. And then this, you know, ostensibly high-end political hack, Valerie Jarrett, wants to get paid thirty grand for what, 40 minutes? 40 minutes worth of saying stuff that, by the way, she said a thousand different times. It's not like she's going to prepare a new speech. She's just going to get up there and do her standard shtick. And it's unfortunate. And I think that Phillips is on to something because, you know, colleges and universities, Dan, and, and we've got some numbers that show this, the, the cost has skyrocketed in the 10 years so astronomically that the idea that you're going to just throw away money is silly. And, they, and, and the reason why it's skyrocketed it isn't because the education's got any better or because, boy, these, these facilities are better than they've ever been. It's salaries and pensions of teachers, professors, and administrators, and people who work for the university. It's the incredibly high, high cost of contracts to prevailing wage capital uh, 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 events and everything else. So, and, the, and the raw number of employees increasing the actual size of the well, the diversity staff coordinator, too. The, the the diversity coordinator, the assistant to the diversity coordinator, the assistant to the assistant to the assistant to the diversity coordinator that all make over six figures every year, and and that's just one example. Well, here's the thing, too. I mean, uh, to your point, you know, everybody's focused on the thirty grand and crying poor, and so now she's waiving the fee, and so there's no problem. No, there's a big problem, and the problem is, for example, at NEIU. The tuition has increased 112 percent over the last decade, and the problem is that half of the state support for higher ed in Illinois, which is twice the national average, oh by the way, is eaten up by uh, salaries and uh, uh, I mean, excuse me, it's not even by salaries, sorry, by extent, by retirement costs, correct? You know, the pensions and health care benefits in retirement, and. So you pay twice that, and we've mentioned this before, but it's not penetrating enough people, pay, uh, provide twice the per-pupil support as the national average, and yet Illinois finds itself, its colleges and universities, within state tuition that is 25 to 50% higher 
than conference peers, whether it's the Big Ten, the Missouri Valley, uh, and all the rest of the conferences. So if the University of Illinois, for example, has the highest in-state tuition except for Penn State in the Big Ten and by wide margins over Wisconsin and Iowa and Michigan. Ohio State and Michigan. And uh, it's absurd. Well, you know what, Dan? It, it, it's the same emotional manipulation and hostage-taking that exists at the high school and grade school level on property taxes, right? The parents are so fearful that their kid is not going to get properly educated at the grade school, the high school, and now what we're talking about, the college level, that they'll accept 115% tuition increases. It costs $250,000, Dan. I know I have a 17-year-old daughter. $250,000 to send a kid to college to these, you know, and, and, and it's not that's not Harvard. That's all, almost every college, right? So it, it, it's a scam that where a bunch of players have gotten together, the ranking institutions, the the, the public sector employees, and even in, and then the privates go along with it, um, that, that, but the parents can't get out of it because they say to themselves, I have to give my kid this opportunity and well, this is the cost. Well, there's one way out of it. It's out of Illinois. And so the kids, so Illinois exports more of its college-bound high school seniors than any state in the nation you know, competing with New Jersey. And here's the thing. you We provide more subsidy, and if you subsidize something, you get more of it. So we provide more subsidy, they charge more. It's just a pass-through. It gives them a platform to charge more and realize revenue from both tuition as well as the state. So my point, and this is where Ronner has been uh, absent, this is an opportunity for him, too, in terms of good governance. Say, listen, I'm telling you right now, you universities and colleges, you presidents and boards have a choice. You either bring down your tuition to the median uh, uh, tuition of your conference uh, or I'm going to bring down the state per people state support to the median state support in your conference. One of two ways we're going to get down to we're going to reduce tuition to something that is more responsible in state tuition to Illinois families who are financing all of this. So you can take the window and do it yourself or, or the stairs and do it yourself or it, it's out the window in terms of state support at the current level. That's a way to drive a conversation about reform at higher ed that reduces tuition to something that makes it more attractive to send your kid to U of I or Illinois State or Eastern or Western or wherever. Yeah, the, and if he did that, it would help keep people in state because, to your point, pre, and then, then they would get jobs in state and then they would stay and families would stay together. To your point before, you're, it used to be you stayed in state because it cost so much less and you got a great education, but if it costs the same... To go out of state, why not explore? Why not see what else is out there to be offered? And that's what everybody's doing.